When we look at the precision of measurements or a set of data, we ask the question, how concise, how valid are our observations? And this is the reason why we actually treat our measurements as an entire population. So let's assume we uh, have a data set, let's say 10, 15, 20, and another 15. So we have four observations, four observations, and sometimes we can also denote this as n equals 4, where n is the number of observations. What we want to do now is we want to calculate what is the average, what is the mean of these data. And for that, we treat the data as a population. And we calculate the mean, and I abbreviate that with the discrete letter mu for population mean. And we know how to do that. We just simply add up uh, the observations 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15. And we divide by the number of observations that we had. So that would be 4. So if we add this up, 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15, that gives us 60 divided by 4. And that is 15. So the mean of our measurements is 15. What we can do now is also look at the spread, how much are our, our data spread out. And for that, we can calculate what is called the variance. And we use, again, an equation that is for the population. So this equation looks in mathematical form like that, we take the sum of each observation minus the mean, square it, and divide it by the number of our observation. Now, this looks a little bit uh, scary, but uh, what it basically is, it says, add up the differences. Oh, the, let's just simply do it. So. Our first observation is 10. We subtract the mean, that is 15, square it. Plus the second observation is 15 minus the mean, square it. Plus the third observation, 20, minus the mean, square it. Plus the fourth observation, 15 minus the mean, square it. And then we divide it by the number of observations, which is 4. So let's just quickly do that. 10 minus 15, that gives us negative 5 squared, plus 15 minus 15, that gives us 0 squared, plus 20 minus 15, that gives us positive 5 squared, plus 15 minus 15, that gives us again 0 squared, and we divide that by 4. So negative 5 squared gives us 25, plus 0, plus 25, plus 0, divided by 4, that gives us 25, our uh, 25 is 50, divided by 4 equals 12.5. So our variance for these four observations is 12.5. And we now can calculate the standard deviation of that. And we know that the standard deviation, and for population I abbreviate it with the sigma, so the standard deviation is just simply the square root of the variance. So in this case, it would be square root of 12.5.
12.5. And this gives us, when we put that in the calculator, 3.54. So that would be our standard deviation. So let me indicate that. That is the standard deviation. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.